At first glance, Tunic appears as another Souls-like Metroidvania with some heavy Zelda influence, when in reality, it's a series of fantastic puzzles that hides information and world-changing mechanics in plain sight that you would not know about unless you blindly stumbled into them, or until the game deems it the right time to feed you the right information. In doing this, an atmosphere is created that transports you back to when you were young, trying to figure out how to progress through those games by incessantly flipping through the game manuals. Dude does this by cleverly hiding parts of its own manual throughout the world, and every single page of it is loaded with more info than you could comprehend at first. So many secrets are on each page you pick up, and when you open this manual, it even zooms out and makes the gameplay background almost as if you're back on those old CRT TVs and monitors from your childhood, further perpetuating this concept that you're the, you are playing the player who's playing Tunic. Similarly to Death's Door, Tunic uses its own isometric view to hide secret pathways, treasures, and other goodies in plain sight, and it's done really well. Each time you find a new connecting pathway or hidden room, you feel a rush of excitement by your newfound discovery, what it might hold within. While many of the puzzles that were added were there purely for extra treasures or goodies to find that had no impact on gameplay or story, there was a reward in the form of an extra ending if you chased quite a few of these loose ends. Puzzles in games feel repetitive quite often and leave players either being able to figure out the answers immediately or the developer ramped it up to such a degree that it stumps the player for a lengthy amount of time. Tunic changed that. Puzzles were taught in a certain way, and then small parts of them were changed bit by bit and were different enough from anything I had ever experienced before that it almost felt as if I was inputting the Konami code with the button combos I had to input as the answer. Iron Pineapple said that this game has one of the best puzzles he's ever encountered. I'm inclined to agree. This game starts off as a simple geometric game in its art style and takes that notion and changes itself into a game of mystery and intrigue. Not knowing anything about this game, when I first started, it was such a treat to go along and be surprised at each and every step. For that reason, I don't want to dive too much into the story. The secrets run deep. Very insanely deep. And are plentiful enough that you trip over them without even realizing. Another incredible indie gem definitely worth it. 8.3 out of 10.